I've been doing the sort of standard, classic, kind of black and white street photography. I was kind of looking for another way in to it. Um, so just in the course of like the year long kind of photographing, this sort of series emerged. Actually, in terms of the, the mix of people that I photographed, there would have been quite a, a wide mix of, of, of people from very, very kind of maybe working class areas to very, very well-to-do Dublin people. But, but for the most part, yeah, for the most part, they were, they're elderly. A lot of the times they're, they're hunched down. I think I was attracted to them, to the figures graphically. On, a, on, a, on one point, on a purely gra graphic sense, but also looking back on it as the project was progressing, it dawned on me that I, I had been sort of rediscovering the, the works of, of um, Samuel Beckett. I'd kind of come back to them after 20 years as well. And uh, I think I was just sort of sub subconsciously drawn to these kind of solitary kind of figures that have been walking the streets of Dublin for God knows how long. One of the things that I kind of, that I've always come up against, and I think a lot of artists that I know kind of, kind of come up against, especially with photography, is it's just very, very difficult to, to really find out anything about anybody when you're photographing them, you know? It's, <laughs> Uh, all it can ever be is just this sort of single image and um, it's, all, it's kind of a futile exercise um, but at the same time you kind of hope that you know in your sort of failing that something might something interesting might happen you know um, and in that sense it has a sort of Bicketian kind of like I, I, I can't go on I'll go on <laughs> kind of thing. As well as shooting digitally for the first time and also colour, uh, I was playing around with shooting vertically for the first time. I'd never actually shot vertically. I don't think maybe, you know, one shot in a thousand, you know, in, in the past I would have. So because I was, uh, because of the, the, the layout of the camera, when you, you know, when you have it to your eye, the lens is slightly heightened or elevated. So uh, that gives a little bit of extra height and then I was using the wide angle lens. So as I was just approaching and photographing the people, I could see what was, what was starting to begin to happen is taking out a lot of the, the sort of background noise that you'd normally have in kind of busy, I mean, because they're all shot on the main street in Dublin city centre. So um, it's quite a busy street, there's a lot of activity. Um, so something really nice started to happen where all that just sort of vanished away and I was able to just focus in on the figure. And then, you know, it, that's exactly what started to happen. They started to flatten. I was shooting full depth of field. So the footpath almost kind of blended into the, you know, the textures of the coats and uh, gave this sort of a, a kind of an oriental print kind of feel as I was looking at them on screen and that's what I started to see and that's, that's the way I approached it. Compositionally they're all very quite quite simple. I mean they look like they're shot from much higher than they are. I'm, for the most part I'm just on my tippy toes, you know, slightly, you know, kind of, <laughs> uh, but that would be it. I mean there would be a couple of shots when I might have stood up on a, on a, on a bench just as somebody was passing or no, but they're, they're, they're nearly all shot moving, as I'm moving and as the subject is moving. I, I would see these characters all the time on the street. And, you know, 50% of the time, I, I, you know, when, when I'd see someone, I'd go, yeah, perfect, and I'd go up. And I just, there wasn't, they just didn't have that certain stance or that certain kind of presence. And it could have been much more downtrodden than, you know, the next person. So I was a little bit concerned that it kind of looked like I was kind of chasing that specific kind of character, or I, or I wasn't really. I mean, in many ways it was, like I said, almost a sort of purely graphic visual thing that grabbed me first. They're all shot in direct sunlight nearly. There's a certain light that comes into O'Connell Street in Dublin on, on, in, in the morning time. That's very, very low. Just every now and again, somebody's, somebody will just jump out you know, and it might be just that, just that one thing that would kind of draw me to somebody. But yeah, I, I, I'm not really able to tell why, you know, why some people were attracted and uh, attractive and not others. The thing that still interests me about about street photography and photographing people on the street is just the realization that I kind of had over the years that the vast, vast, vast majority of encounters that we have in our lives are these sort of brief, momentary urban encounters on the street, you know, and they may just trigger, you know, small sensations of, you know, lust or total indifference or, you know, outrage or, you know, or pity, you know, whatever, but it could be a number of different emotions and these are the, the this is the vast, vast majority of, you know, kind of human encounters that we have. And um, 
it's something that's always kind of stayed with me and it's one of the things that interests me most about uh, about looking at other photography and looking at my, and thinking about my own work and just sort of not trying to hold on to something but just sort of working in and around that that, that space that and just kind of realizing that that's where everyone is and then you're only ever going to get to you're, well you're never really going to get to know anybody yeah so i mean that's another that's another kind of layer of interest for me on looking at my own work